This figure is a square with two triangles in it. If the first triangle has one of its sides as three units, and the second triangle has one of its side as two units. As shown in the figure, calculate the area of the square. To solve this problem, let's label the vertices of the square as A, B, C, and D. And this point, E, and F. Next, let's take note of some details in the figure. Since the figure is a square, the angle in each corner is a right angle that is 90 degrees and all the sides of the square are equal. Also, line AF and line EC are perpendicular to line EB. Next, let's consider triangle ABF and triangle BCE. In these triangles, angle AFB is 90 degrees, likewise angle BEC. This shows that both triangles are right triangles. In triangle ABF, if we call angle FAB Y, it follows that angle ABF will be equal to 90 degrees minus Y. And the reason is sum of angles in a triangle. Since angle ABC is 90 degrees, angle EBC will be Y. That is, 90 degrees minus 90 degrees minus Y which will give us 90 minus 90, plus y, 90 will minus 90, and we are left with y. Also, angle BCE will be 90 degrees, minus y, reason. The sum of angles in a triangle, is 180 degrees. From triangle ABF, and triangle BCE, we can see that, angle AFB, is equal to angle BEC, that is, 90 degrees. Angle FAB is equal to angle EBC, that is, Y. And angle ABF is equal to angle BCE, that is, 90 minus Y. Hence, we can say that triangle ABF and triangle BCE are similar triangles. Since both triangles are similar, it follows that both triangles are proportional triangles. That is, they have the same ratios. Before we proceed, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button so you make sure to never miss my videos. For clarity's sake, let's represent each triangle separately. From both triangles, we can observe that this side is proportional to this side, this side proportional to this side, and this side proportional to this side. If that is the case, we can say that AF over EB is equal to EC over FB, and EC over FB is equal to AB over BC. Going further. We are going to focus on EC over FB is equal to AB over BC. AB is the side of the square, likewise BC. If we say let X be the side of the square, it follows that EC over FB is equal to X over X. X over X is 1. So, EC over FB will be equal to 1. EC is 2. So, we have 2 over FB is equal to 1. By cross multiplication, FB is equal to 2. Going further, we are going to find X in triangle ABF using Pythagoras' theorem. From Pythagoras' theorem, AB squared is equal to AF squared plus FB squared. From triangle ABF, AB is X, AF is 3, and FB 2. If we go ahead to plug in these values in the above formula, we will have 
x squared is equal to 3 squared plus 2 squared. 3 squared is 9 and 2 squared is 4. So, x squared is equal to 9 plus 4. 9 plus 4 is 13. Hence, x squared is 13. Let's remember that our aim is to find the area of the square. The area of square is length times length. Since we used x as the length of the square, we can say that the area is x times x. x times x is x squared. Hence, the area of the square is x squared, and we have x squared as 13. And this is the area of the square. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.